All right, you guys have asked me about this. I'm going to give you a quick rundown. This is my unlimited Seeker Mom build that I use in the Summit a lot. This also gives you unlimited jammer pulse, so you can take out um, drones and uh, dogs and electronics that, that really are a pain in the butt on some of these levels. <clears throat> and basically, it's a pretty basic build. It's a four-piece hardwire build, so you're going to use four-piece hardwire. The hardwire backpack is the only one that is a must. You have to have the backpack as part of the build because of the short circuit effect decreases feedback loop down from 20 seconds to 10 seconds so four piece hardwired use the backpack uh, I'll use a china light throw one piece of china light in there because it has 15 percent explosive damage um, you're going to ma want max skill haste and max skill damage on all the components you use um, obviously on the ch on the hardwired pieces you're going to want to put skill damage because you know there's only one attribute you can roll onto those so put skill damage I also use a wyvern chest piece because you get the extra 10% skill damage and I use one that has glass cannon on it for the extra 25% damage for all the damage I deal you're going to be hiding behind a big shield with this build so the glass cannon is not really a problem um, you'll run cluster seeker mines you're going to run the bulwark shield and then basically how it works is you throw your seeker mines uh, you have uh, the countdown will start for it to refresh and you pull your shield up and it'll give your seeker mines back uh, usually there's a four or five second delay depending on how much haste you have uh, but it's essentially a non-ending loop of seeker mines this also works with the scanner pulse if you get a room you know how it tells you kind of what your room you're going into if you get a room full of drones switch over to your scanner pulse or your jammer pulse and put that on instead of the seeker mines and you can continuously use your jammer pulse by using the same method uh, I use just a gun within sync I keep the bullet king equipped for rooms with uh, servers and EMP jammers that have to be destroyed just because it's a constant stream of fire but the weapon you're going to use the most is your pistol um, and I just use I just use the card custom but you can use whatever pistol you want as long as it has in sync on it and basically what you're going to want to do is from behind your shield after you throw your seekers you're just going to tag people with the in sync you're just going to just spray gunfire with your pistol and tag guys before the seekers hit them and that way they're getting extra damage before the seekers hit and so it causes the in sync effect which causes your skills to do more damage your gun to do more damage I do anywhere from three and a half million to 5.5 million per seeker mine throw on guys it basically if it doesn't kill them instantly it'll wipe their complete armor off if you're in a group you're basically wiping armor for guys and they're just rolling through and plowing them down so it makes moving through the summit really quickly you're killing drones quick you're killing dogs quick you're wiping armor off guys and you're moving behind a shield the whole time and it's a lot of fun so give it a try and I hope you enjoy it as much as I do because it's a great summit build um, and also if I didn't mention this the specification the specialization you're going to use is going to be demolitionist because you get an extra 10% uh, explosives damage with demolitionist alright guys I appreciate you visiting and I hope you enjoy thanks